Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here with a review, rant, preview, uh, topic discussion regarding Hot Toys and Sideshow. Now remember, sometimes with my rants I do have bad language, so if that's something that offends you, then you might not want to watch the video. So that disclaimer is done. Now I get a bunch of questions on sometimes why do I purchase Sideshow and Hot Toys figures if I just don't like them. Well the thing is I actually do like some of them. A lot of them are just pieces of shit. And since I'm working on my Star Wars wall, which is over here, and you guys have seen it a bunch of different times, I have all the lights off on it. I'm almost finished with it, but there's just some items or some figures that I need to get, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm not going to go and purchase one at Walmart or the Disney store. The quality just isn't there. But then again, how much more do you have to pay for that extra fucking quality? So let me explain to some of the newer collectors, and maybe some of the older collectors that maybe don't realize this, but Sideshow and Hot Toys creates a false demand for these items. Okay, they, they make the market what it is. Not the collectors, they make the market. And you're not paying for quality, you're paying for quantity. And the quantity is the lack of quantity, the, the, the amount in which they actually make. And a really good example, and although I realize, and I'm going to use the Jawas here, which is Sideshow, and this is Hot Toys. This just happens to be the box that I have. I could have found a Hot Toys box, but I didn't have one handy to use. But this is the DX line, which stands for Deluxe. came out uh, from Hot Toys. And also says Sideshow Collectibles on there as well. But look at this box. Really nice. It's uh, I don't know what the material is, but this is embossed. Probably weighs two or three pounds. And then you look at this piece of shit box. It weighs, I don't know, a couple ounces. It's all flimsy and fucking warping all, already. Now let me tell you, the retail on this figure was $249. This is $219. So we are dealing with $30. Okay, so I do realize that. We are dealing with $30. But this at least is a collectible item. Let's, so let's just open this up really quickly. You get a presentation. It talks about Indiana Jones again. Nice embossing here, what they did with the box. You get this uh, map, this nice little presentation. You get this like silk tab that you pull up. Um, you got a figures with tons of hands, tons of accessories, but it didn't stop there. We keep opening these up. Oops. Keep opening these up. So you got actually multiple outfits. You got... Uh, a diorama. You got a background. Let's look at some of the pieces that you actually got with it here. I'm going to flip on my lights for my entertainment cabinet, which is supposed to be another video that you'll see. But so, like, let's look at the figure really quickly. Okay, you got this stand, too. You got this. Alright? You got that. You got the idol. Look at the head sculpt on that. Look at the detail on it. You got all that shit. $249. 249 219 piece of shit now the 249 that was still pretty expensive i would say it should have probably went for about 150 or so but again we're dealing with that thing about quantity and quality okay this was a limited edition in fact this isn't even a limited edition so i'm not sure on how many they're making of these but at least this was a limited edition, and because it's a limited edition, they don't make that many. Therefore, they have to make a little bit more on each cell. So I, I kind of understand the price, and at least they put forth an effort here with the presentation. So when you have a friend come over, and they see your figure, and they say, Wow, that's a nice figure. How much you pay for it? $249. Woo! $249. Well, you did get a nice box. It looks like it's a limited edition, by the way. There's my dog. So they say, yeah, well, you know, limited edition, nice box. So, okay, I still think you overpaid for it a little bit. You have a friend come over and they see these two Jawas and they say, uh, how much you pay for that? $219? They're going to look at you and go, what, you fucking crazy? These things should be sold at Walmart for maybe a price tag of $30. So if you as a collector wants to keep paying the $219 and then letting these fuck nuts, these other people that do reviews... And you know which ones I'm fucking talking about. If I saw any of them on the street, I'd punch them in the fucking mouth. 
They come in, oh yeah, this is the new figures from fucking Hot Toys and Sideshow. Oh, it's the most amazing thing in the fucking world. Really? Oh, and they're the ones with the thousands, or tens, no, let's say hundreds of thousands of subscribers. They actually, that's what they do for a living. They actually make money because you view and thumbs up their fucking videos. And all they're doing is spewing out shit from their fucking mouth. Okay, this one at least is okay. I can understand this one. Still a little pricey. I can understand it. There's not one fucking reviewer that should ever come out on fucking YouTube and saying that this shit's good. Because if they do, they're full of fucking shit. Same thing with that Darth Vader. What did I pay for that Darth Vader? What was it? Two eighty nine, I think it was. One when I got it, and that one leg was shorter than the fucking other, other and the fucking switch on the back. Two eighty nine. Okay. Uh, granted, again, better than a Darth Vader that you'd get at Walmart or, or fucking Kmart. So we'll say what? Double the amount. So instead of twenty dollars, we say forty. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Two eighty nine. That thing better be fucking autographed and handmade by one individual and then autographed with fucking gold leaf for fucking $2.89. Are you shitting me? Oh, well, we only made like a couple thousand of them. Make fucking more. Okay, quit falsifying the market, making things like things are exclusive and limited edition. There's fucking enough fans out there. Don't worry. If you made 20,000 of them, there'll still be another 100,000 that didn't get them. Oh my gosh. Okay? So, like, if you look at this Millennium Falcon, okay? 110 bucks. Bought it used. Of course, I painted it. Put, add some lights. All right. Add an extra 20 bucks to it. So, we'll say 130. So, Millennium Falcon, 130. 219 for these two pieces of shit Jawas. Now, at least these... They're like 300 now on eBay, 400. See, they were made as toys, so a lot of them got broke over the years. People didn't save them. So um, they, even though they made tens of thousands of them, not a lot survived. These didn't have to fucking survive because they just didn't make a lot of them. So they didn't make a lot of them, so they say, all right, well, let's charge the collectors, you guys. Let's charge you 219 for them. And then we'll have our little fucking minion uh, YouTube uh, channel people go on there and say how fucking great they are. Then I got to deal with the fucking, their fucking minion followers coming on to my fucking channel giving me thumbs down saying, Oh, you're fucking man. Why are you doing that and saying that about those figures? Uh, I fucking love Star Wars. I love fucking movies. And you know what? Hey, if you got 219 you want to pay for this, Regardless of what your friends think about you paying two nineteen for it, it's fucking your money. Do what you want. Amen to that. I'm just saying. Cut the shit. Okay? Hot Toys and Sideshow is putting out shit. And as long as you keep paying for it, and as long as you keep thumbing up that fucking butthole that does the reviews on these that says how great they are, you're going to continue to get shit. Okay, again, two forty nine. 219. This is actually a collector item. This is not a collector item, so why is it 219? Explain that to me. This is not a limited edition. It's a piece of shit. Why is it 219? Go search YouTube right now. Fucking Sideshow did an unboxing of this. They thought, it, you know, look at this fucking shit. Boy, did we do the collectors a favor by making this. Really? You should be fucking ashamed. I'm making shit like that. Or, you know what? Make shit like this and go, okay, 40 bucks at Walmart. All right, cool, 40 bucks. I'm cool with that. Not too fucking 19. Not coming over here to fucking uh, Iron Man. This is the cheaper model. People pay over 300 for these fucking things. And then when they want the fucking head to light up, you gotta take apart the fucking helmet. Really? I just paid 300 fucking dollars. You can't just make it where I touch it and it turns on? <laughs> what the fuck is three? You know what kind of shit you could buy for $300? You could buy a fucking computer for that. You can go on a fucking weekend vacation for that. Fucking 219. I could 
For this, I could probably feed some kid in Africa or some third world country for fucking five years. Of course, now that makes me feel bad because now I'm really I'm wasting my money. Oh, shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm fucking tired of it. Fuck you if you give me a thumbs down for my fucking rants. Or you don't like the fact that I call shit how it is. Fucking sideshow, hot toys, get your fucking act together and start making some good shit. Go back to the DX line, make these about 150 and be done with it. They fucking fooled you, man. They fucking start creeping up the price, the 200, the 220, the 230, they're going to be at the 3. Pretty soon, a standard figure is going to be 350. And then it's going to be 400 unless you fucking start saying some shit about it. I'm done with my figures. All left I have to get is if uh, Hot Toys comes out with a uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi outfit. And of course, what am I going to pay for it? 250 Of course, or 300 Why? Why would I need to pay that? That's not what the material costs. That's not what it's worth. Well, it's worth actually, Scooby, whatever somebody pays for it. Well, yeah, well, fuck you. There are, I guess there are enough people with disposable income that they'll just pay any amount and just inflate the fucking prices for everybody. But I can guarantee you one fucking thing. There's going to be those fucking reviewers. This is the greatest thing in the fucking world. Oh, Jesus. No, it's not. It's pieces of shit. I think I've only gotten like one or two Hot Toys things besides these DX ones where when I've taken them out of the box, they've been all pretty good. Generally, all of them, some little piece of something fucking breaks off or the fucking hands don't fit in right. There's, there's always been something almost with every fucking figure that I've gotten. Most of them are very tolerable and the things that are easy fix. But the, not for that price. I mean, you should, for, for $250 for a plastic item, when you open it up, it should be, oh, not like, oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, fuck, man, this thing broke off. Shit. Damn, got to be careful with this thing. Right? So anyways, there's my little thing. If you want to know more, just ask fucking questions. Again, Sideshow Hot Toys falsifies or they make a false market. Making you think you're getting something that there's a limited edition to. Which, by the way, when they say something is limited edition, don't they always come out next year with the same fucking item? Just call it something else? Hmm. Far out, man. All right, so fuck any of you that don't like my fucking rants or my fucking reviews. All I'm doing is trying to help you guys out. Still buy the shit. I just don't want your heart to be broken when you get some of these items because the other reviewers came out and just said it was the greatest thing in the world. And then you get it and kind of go, oh man, you know, I just saved up two months to buy this figure and now I'm kind of a little depressed because... It's not quite what I thought it was going to be because I listened to that other fucking reviewer. At least if you listen to me, at least you go like, well, you know, Scooby did say, you know, if you needed it, go ahead and buy it. It's your money. I mean, feel good about the purchase, but just know, you know, you're not getting a ray of sunshine necessarily when you open up the box. That's all I'm saying. But I am fucking pissed about this fucking shit. This was fucking garbage. Fucking Jawas were fucking garbage. Look at the box. Just look at this. <laughs> look at it. Look at, it's just... It's already warping. It's already warping right there. 219, 249. And Sideshow just thought they'd pass this off to you and then they, again, send the uh, free copies to those other fucking reviewers just so they can uh, open it up and tell you how fucking cool they are. Not the fact that hoods don't fucking sound. Put some Velcro on the fucking hood so they at least stay on. Shit, you know every other figure I get, the fucking little joints to their fucking legs or their uh, ankles are fucking too loose for them to stand on their own? Sometimes you get them, they're okay, and sometimes they're not. Fucking quality control. I'm fucking paying 250 What the fuck am I paying for? Oh, I know. I'm just paying for nothing. I'm paying for the fact that I'm a collector, but I'm not actually paying for any sort of fucking quality. Come on, you guys. Get on board. Start calling up Hot Toys and Sideshow and tell them you're fucking tired of their shit and start making quality products and lower the price. All right, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend.
I am going to get out my video on my cabinet that I did. It's all done. I just haven't uh, put the videos together yet. And then I got this fucking most awesome thing that I'm going to be building in the movie room come August. Oh, my God. There'll be a preview for that coming out in a couple weeks. I guarantee it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Again, don't forget to, uh, I don't know, I guess don't forget to fucking thumbs down my fucking video because I'm talking shit about your figures. I'm just kidding, man. Do whatever you want. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.